everyone welcome back to my channel I'm Tiana and in today's video I have a little what's on my iPhone slash iOS 14 widgets whatever um, just like how I organize my phone and the widgets that I made I'm gonna show you guys kind of like a rough tutorial of how I made them and all of that stuff so if you are interested then just go ahead and keep on watching but of course first subscribe um, follow me on Instagram as well, and I'm gonna try to be as like in depth as I can. But honestly, there's a lot of um, tutorials on how to make widgets if I'm a little bit confusing or whatnot. But I have the iPhone 11 Pro Max. This is what it looks like. I have this Sonics iPhone case on it, and I have had this phone for about a year now. I am planning to upgrade to the 12 or whatever it's called whenever that comes out. So I'm going to go ahead and start screen recording so that I can show you guys everything. So, okay. Let me lock the phone. Okay, let me start now. Three, two, one. Okay. So, I have a pink theme because I really like pink. You probably can't tell by my room, but pink is my favorite color. Um, so on the first home screen, I have a widget that says Wednesday, September 23rd, 2020. The background is light pink, the font tint is gray, and then I also have one on the bottom that says 4.04 p.m. Um, I'm gonna show you guys everything that's on here, and then I'm gonna show you how I made my widgets, but that's what I have, and then I just organize the apps that I most frequently use, so we have the calendar, settings clock i think it's funny how i have the calendar and the clock on here but then i also have widgets that say the day and the time it's kind of like two of them for no reason i could move those but i kind of like how they look also sorry if you can kind of hear some drilling we are having our kitchen remodeled but i still want to film this for you guys so anyways camera photos weather notes reminders group me i have a hundred messages um i need to do something about that and then I have FaceTime, Zoom. I feel like every single person in the world has Zoom now because of Corona. And then social media. So I have Messenger, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and TikTok. So that is my first home screen as soon as you unlock the phone. And then at the bottom, Messages, Safari, Spotify, and Phone because those are very frequently used. When you scroll to the right, I have... Um, a widget this is made in photo widgets I'm gonna show you guys how to do that in a bit but I made a stack so when you swipe up it has the weather and it's um, 73 degrees in Austin and it's cloudy and then I have work so for work I have Asana which is a calendar that my company uses I have slack which is communication for the office a lot of small startup companies use slack so I'm sure some of you guys might be familiar with it and then LinkedIn, I have 46 notifications. <laughs> I never check that. And then I have Career Center and Handshake. Those are for school. And then Indeed Jobs. That's how I found my current internship. I could do a whole video on how to get an internship, how I found my internship, and then tips and tricks for interviewing. Let me know if you guys would like to see that. Um, I know I'm not really like a career-focused channel, but I do have a lot of tips about like school and getting a job and stuff. So then I have mail. <laughs> Oh my god, why are there like so many Gmail notifications and then Outlook? That's my school email. I should probably like get on here and like do something about that, but I mean, I'm fine for now. Navigation, I have Lyft, Google Maps, Waze, and then Maps. Waze, like you need Waze. Like you do not need Google Maps. You do not need the iPhone Maps. You need Waze because it's the best. Then we have Google. These are all the Google apps that I have downloaded for like school and whatnot. I never really use this. Google Earth is kind of fun though. Like if you want to like stalk somebody, if you want to see um, where someone lives, <laughs> see what their house looks like, it's pretty fun. Then Lifestyle, Map My Run. That's the app that I use when I go on runs on the trails and stuff in Austin so I can see um, how long or how far I've run. Clue is a period tracking app. Zillow is really good if you want to look up how much money someone's house costs. Home Snap, same thing as Zillow, but you get to take a picture of the house. It's pretty cool. And then Fitness, don't use that. Yelp is cool. Bumble, find me on Bumble. Um, I used to be a campus ambassador for them. And then Pinterest and Zyrtec, my chart. That's for the that's for the doctor. 
park ATXs to pay for parking in Austin and then Hinge. I don't really use that one. Bumble is more of my thing. And then finance, just, you know, like you can see. And college, right, my professors. Socratic is super cool. It's like Quizlet. Um, it's not like Quizlet, but you take a picture of the question on your laptop and then it searches the internet for that question instead of you having to type it. Super helpful for college. iClicker, Reef, I used to use that. Um, Canvas is for school. I have a lot of, I have 132 things that I haven't looked at yet. Kahoot, Quizlet, and then Park Mobile was the parking for UNT. And then my YouTube folder. YouTube Studio, YouTube AdSense, TubeBuddy, Social Blade, and Octoly. Octoly sends you free product, so if you are an influencer, you might want to look into that. But yeah, shopping, those are all my favorite stores. I really like Princess Polly. Entertainment, I never use this one because I like don't watch Netflix or Hulu on my phone, but I still have them, probably because I downloaded it on my iPad. And then food, um, I love HEB, best store ever. Photo and video, this is everything I use for creating content. PicMonkey is how I make my thumbnails. So then, yeah, I just have all of these. If you want an in-depth how I edit to my iPhone pictures or my Instagram pictures, then you can let me know. And then these are all the utilities that I have. Um, yeah. Amazon and then games. I only have Subway Surf and Temple Run 2 because I'm not really a big iPhone gamer. And then here's another photo widget. It says I'm going to be all right. So all of these photo widgets that I have, um, I found. So for the pumpkin one, I looked up pink pumpkins on Pinterest. And then for the I'm going to be all right, I looked up pink aesthetic quotes on Pinterest. That is how I found those. So you can honestly find them any way that you want, just like on the internet, just like Google stuff and then save it to your phone. And then my background is pink marble. So, oh wait, yeah, pink marble. Um, you can kind of see it, I guess, yeah. Um, I also found that on the internet, just Googling pink, pink aesthetic backgrounds Tumblr. That's how I found it. So on this last page, these are all three widgets that I have made. So this is when the sun sets because I'm always curious to know because I hate driving at night or like if I'm trying to take an Instagram picture, I need to know. I need to know exactly when the sun sets so I can calculate golden hour and all of that. And then this widget in the middle is recommended apps. So apps that I use a lot. So Instagram, Slack. Group me, Bumble, Twitter, Settings, TikTok, and Snapchat. So those, I guess, are the ones that I'm most frequently using. And then this other photo widget says, it be like that sometimes, because in college I had this friend and she used to always say, it be like that sometimes, and I just thought that was so funny. So now here's the app library. This is all of the apps. I didn't make these folders. This is just what Apple gave me based on like a categorization um, thing that they do, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I don't really like, I don't really go on there. But as you can tell, I have some apps that I don't have on my home screen just because you can swipe down from the bottom and then if I need to do something, I can type in like Instagram and it'll come up or like whatever. So. I just have my most commonly frequently used apps on the home screen just because I like to look at stuff honestly and no I did not make shortcuts for all of my apps and like change the icons just because like why? I feel like when people do that you're kind of losing sight of the fact that you are not a graphic designer like you're just an iPhone user but my friend Audrey she like went ham she like changed every icon for every single app and I just personally like I just personally don't feel the need to do that but I mean it looks cute but the thing is when you make shortcuts and you tap on it it opens the shortcuts app first and then it opens the app so it's like annoying so that's why I didn't do it I just like you know I'm a pretty basic gal when it comes down to it I just like my phone to be quick and easy and accessible user friendly so now I'm going to show you guys how you make a widget Oh, by the way, the it be like that sometimes when you swipe up, it's a calendar. I love making stacks. I feel like it's so cute because it looks like just cute words, but then you swipe up and it's actually like a handy dandy little tool. So how you make a widget, I'm sure like 
you kind of know how to do this. I have three different apps to make widgets. Widget Smith, Photo Widgets, and then Photo Widget. Um, I downloaded Photo Widgets because I wanted those cute ones just with the pictures. And Widget Smith is kind of like confusing to do that on because you have to make albums for each specific widget picture. And I was just like, no. I was just like, no, I'm not doing that. So anyways, for widgets... You can do small, medium, and large. I don't use the large ones because large is just like too big for me. Like I don't, I can do one though. So like, let's just do, um, let's do this one. Okay, so I'll show you how I made the medium one that says Wednesday. So basically I clicked on it and then I tapped on it again and it has all these little different options of ones that you can make, but I personally liked the big print that just says Wednesday and then September 23rd, so that's what I did. And then font, I did New York because it looks the most aesthetically pleasing. It looks very luxe. So I did that one. And then the tint color, I was confused. Tint color just means like font color, so the color of the words. And then I did gray because it's, I mean, light pink, gray, cute, you know. And then background, you can scroll and then there's all of these ones. And then I did pale pink. Oh, you can also do a border color. I feel like white would be a very good border color. So then you just go back. Wait. Yeah, that's what I want. And then how do you? Okay, save. Okay, yeah, so I saved it. Now it is saved with that. So then you can do this for all of them. You can just customize it. There's a bunch of options. If you want to buy Widget Smith, you can do more different ones that have weather. Weather is locked. You can do your steps and then sunrise, sunset, moon phase, photo in album, you know, whatever you want. So let's just make one for funsies. Um, what do I want to make though? Let's make step count. Oh, then you have to turn this on. Um, yeah, whatever. Let's turn it on. Allow and then font. Um, New York again, tint color, gray, background color, pale pink. So that's my third widget. So then when I want to add them, you can just do this. You hold just the blank home screen without anything on it. And then you hit the plus and then you go to widget Smith. And then you do add widget and then it added the one that we just did so I can put it there's not really anywhere to there's nowhere to put it right now so I want that there so then it goes on that one there there we go so that's how I added the steps one and then I want to add I want to show y'all how I added um, the photo widget so let's go to the photo widgets app so basically um, how do you, I don't, I don't know how to do it exactly, but basically you press add and then you title, like, let's just do video. It's a demonstration. So then you would like add a photo and then that's it. So now what I can do is go over here and then press the plus and then I'll go to photo widgets and then I want to add... I'll, let's add a large one and see what happens. So I'm adding it and then I can hit it again and photo list I want that one that I just did And then hit done. So there now we have a widget and it's just a picture and then if I wanted to I think I can make a stack out of that um, What would I want though? I can just do a reminders over there and then let me drop it. Oh wait it's not letting me. Okay. I guess it won't let me do a stack for some reason. Maybe I have to only stack. Oh, you can only stack it if it's a large. So if you want to stack something on this, you have to pick something that's large because reminders is not um, reminders is not that same size, so you can't stack it. But I did stack it with the steps one. So now let's hit done because we are done. And then when I swipe it has reminders underneath the steps. So I have this widget now. So I just made this page for this video. I don't really need it, but it's cute. So I'm going to keep it. So I have this 
pink thing and then the walking one and then sunset it be like that sometimes with the calendar and then all my most used apps and then I have the photo widgets another one the one that one has the what's it called um temperature it has the weather and then the other photo widget I didn't stack anything just because I didn't really feel the need and yeah that is everything so I'm gonna end my screen recording but yeah that is that is everything that I have done I did literally all of that I had my lunch break for my internship and I was like you know what I'm gonna do during this one hour break I am going to make some widgets and customize my phone so that is exactly what I did and oh let me show you my favorite feature while I am still here let me show you something that you must must do if you have the new iOS so you go to settings and then you go to camera and then you can so automatically it's turned off but you can do mirror front camera so what that does is when you take a selfie it'll be like snapchat where the picture that you take is the picture that you're seeing and it doesn't do the little flip thing so you can take really good selfies now and you won't feel lopsided because that's something that i personally felt sometimes when i take a selfie on just the iphone camera because it flips it um now i don't have to deal with that so expect bomb selfies on my instagram coming soon but anyways, that is the one feature that I saw and I was like, all right, I'm downloading iOS 14. Like that's what's, that's what's happening now. So anyways, that was my completed iPhone tour of all my widgets and stuff. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully you found it helpful. I know I didn't go all out super crazy like all of the other people on like TikTok and some of these other YouTube videos that I've been seeing, but I don't know I'm just a pretty simple person at heart and I really think it's very cute and aesthetic like whenever I open my phone now I'm just like wow I love this like I just I just love pink and I like the widgets and I like my little fall pumpkin picture and I think it is so cute so overall thank you for watching and thank you so much to Audrey for giving me the inspiration for this video and for sending me like a little short tutorial on how to do it I obviously couldn't have made this video without you so love you girl XOXO but um, that is all for today's video I hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and lastly follow me on Instagram of course but that is all for today's video so I will see you in the next one